So, it's been a while since you've seen my face, so just ignore the facial hair real quick. I, if you could even, if you could even call it facial hair, I guess. I think the last time was probably when I was taking care of baby Megatron. Uh, which is a weird sentence that I, you know, I'm not even gonna try and explain it. That's not for this video. But, I have accomplished my goal from last year. I've uploaded every week for an entire year, excluding that one month, but I, I made up for that with the Friday videos and the fact that I needed to take a month off or I would fail a class. So we're, we're gonna call that one as I declared I was taking a small break and you know, that one, we, we shut that one out of the way. I still recognize that I did complete my goal. Now, for the ones who just clicked on the video, I, you know, I guess you can stay. This isn't this video isn't really for you. It's made for the subscribers. So, do what you want. I don't care. But why did I, you know, upload every week for a year? That seems like just standard YouTube stuff, you know. Uh, I believe it or not, I don't plan for YouTube to ever be my job. I don't want it to be. I already have a dream job I'm striving for, and you know, I'm getting I'm getting actually pretty successful in it. The thing is, YouTube is a sort of hobby for me, and that, that's, you know, that's fine. It's always good to have those. But I'm sure this doesn't even need mentioning. You know, you all know who Technoblade is, right? I'm sure everyone here who clicked on knows who Technoblade is. At least if you watch Minecraft content, you know who he is. And even if not, his name has been all over the internet. You, you try, kind of just can't know who he is at this point. But, that being said, I would at least think 93 million people who, you know, viewed his thing, excluding maybe a couple rewatchers, but Technoblade did die from cancer. I don't know what went, in my, went through my head, but I was on vacation when he died, and that was just kind of, it kind of just hit. I, I wasn't sad or anything. I don't really get sad over that kind of stuff. But for some reason, that motivated me to do things I've never tried before. In this case, it was making videos. Like, I've made videos. We, if you go six years ago, you're going to see baby me and you're going to see some very cringe Pokemon content. And one video that I will not mention because I, I know all my friends who know my channel, they know that one video. And I, they'll, they'll name it in the comments probably. I'm sure if Endivis sees this, it, he'll, he'll put it in the comments or something. I don't know. So... Um, I made the video to my favorite nerd, where at the end, uh, I said, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let him tell you. We'll make sure it gets to the right place. I hope it does. <coughs> Expect a lot more uploads from here on out. And after I made that commitment, I was really straightforward with it. For the past, like, I don't know, ever since I was really young, if I, like, dedicated myself to something, I, I could do it. It wasn't hard. So basically, things like that, if I really put my mind to it, it was pretty easy for me to do. Now that doesn't mean all the, all the content was great. All the content got great at the end. And you can see now, even at the end of my videos, you've seen I, I'm still learning stuff. For instance, I'm adding music in the background now, which I didn't used to do. In fact, I think I only started that two videos ago. And I should preface this. I am not leaving YouTube. You know, I, it's a great hobby. I will not stop uploading. In fact, uh, about two episodes ago, or two videos ago, there was a comment about wanting to collab. And you know what? That's, what, that's what I'm doing. But now that I am done with this, I am more free to make videos. I no longer have to make videos on a certain schedule. I no longer feel obligated to do them. Now I'm still gonna do them. I'm not just gonna leave Pixel hanging. I, I'm obviously going to just record a ton. I mean, it's fun for me, honestly. It's just the feeling of a deadline, like you have to do this right now. It, it really puts some strain on me at times. So much so that I was about to fail a class. I was about to fail art class. And I think if you go back in my channel enough, you're going to see a video that says, here's my painting. I was going to fail that class because that painting was not going to get finished, which is why I needed to take that month break. And ultimately, school is more important to me than making videos. And in fact, I can pretty much get free college tuition now, which I don't know if you know, American college is very expensive and finding a way to make that free is incredible. 
and so I, I'm hoping throughout, you know, all of my years on YouTube, it's going to eventually be smooth sailing, even with college. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to get through it. Now, why did I decide to do constant videos, like every single week for a year? Well, first off, it was a little joke, you know, me saying, oh, my upload schedule will never finish. Uh, it will, obviously. It was a year goal. And you know, that that's really hard. I didn't know how hard that was until I started doing it. And it doesn't leave the best content, if I'm honest. It really only makes it, I don't know. I guess the way I could put it is it feels incomplete. It could have been better. But now I can feel the creative liberties to go any which way I want with my content. And now that I'm in control of however it works, you know, it's gonna be pretty easy. I can just, you know, make three episodes in the span of a day and then pump them all out. And I don't, I don't care if there's no content next week. I just pumped out three right now. But two days before summer, I made two videos so that I could start uploading again. In fact, it was in preparation for Hightail to come out. And we all know when Hightail's coming out, right? Idiot here didn't know uh, it was going to be held for several more years which if uh, I do the math correctly, will be in my sophomore year of college. So that's not, that's not great. But after I got really motivated when I got home, I decided, you know, I already started these videos. Why don't I just continue? I am very serious about commitment and I will absolutely do it, but I do need a rest sometimes. There have been some points where I just didn't feel it and threw up a a one minute video saying, oh, there's no video today. And, and yeah, wow, that's not, it's not great. Now I would like to bring something up to a very specific person and I have their name on screen here. Hi, Thai Gaming. Uh, thank you for the comment about how committed I was to my channel and that you subscribed because of it. I'm just telling you now, you may want to unsubscribe. I, you know, I, my content is going to get less, you know, repeating. It's going to, it's gonna be a little more sporadic now, and I know that's not what everyone wants, and I know that's probably not what you want, so I'm just letting you know you may wanna unsubscribe for that. And you know that's perfectly fine. In fact, I endorse it. I don't wanna force people to stay on. This isn't a job, it's a hobby, and I don't wanna you know, disappoint people. So I, I'm letting you know now, you may wanna unsubscribe. And also, for all the people who've commented, you know, thank you. That is the highest form of flattery I can receive, because you know, it sounds very dumb when it comes to internet stuff because it's like, oh, thanks for the likes, guys, you know. But it, it's weird. People on the internet are pretty lazy, so pressing a button is is a big deal. And commenting is like a bigger deal. And to me, I just like, you know, feeling engagement and things like that. That's why I liked live streaming for a bit. And then I eventually stopped because I realized I'm not good enough to justify it. So it's fine. I should get back on track, though which is Technoblade's death. I, I said this in the first video and I'm gonna say it in the last, and last quote unquote. <coughs> um, this isn't to like farm off of his death, that's sick. It was just like a challenge I set for myself, you know, to, I, I don't know if it would be to commemorate him. I doubt he'd feel very commemorated, like, oh, thanks, I have a great job, I guess. I don't know, man. But, you know, it, it does help a little. You know, I don't really deal with death a lot. Uh, the few times I have, I've realized I don't really get sad. I just get angry. And I don't really like feeling angry. And this has definitely helped a bit. And I know it, it may sound weird to say I'm feeling for someone I never really met. But that's just how it is sometimes. I don't know how to respond, man. This is just the best way I can do whatever I can to calm me down. And it, it, I think it worked well. And now that I finished my goal, I am up to do other things such as drawing. I, in my recent thumbnails, I've been doing a lot of drawing for myself. Now I know the, the becoming a homeowner in Kabulman is not the, you know, the most flattering art. I have done better stuff trust me now other than art i've been getting into a little bit of voice acting as well now i wasn't i wasn't perfect by all means i was a very minor role in this youtubers thing and i i may link them in the description may not depends how lazy i am later 
Now, all that has been very great and, and good, and I'm, I'm glad that you got to see this. But I think we should probably go into a place that kind of fits the old video quite well. So I'm going to keep this real short because the video is as long as it is already. So we're just going to fly to the exact place that, you know, you know, it, it took me to get there. I actually, I think I went by foot because I didn't have flight, which is a real shame. All right, if I do remember correctly, it was along the seaside. And there it is. Yep, all the potatoes. Okay, let's, let's jump down. Yep, there it is. Yeah. It's been it's been quite a bit the shadows have really overtaken everything it's uh yeah looks it looks really nice I, I I absolutely love the statue and all that I I'm very glad I I don't regret it at all that I made my decision to you know upload every single week for a year you know it really taught me something and I, I'm very glad I have it I'm definitely going to use it for when Hytale actually does come out and, you know, it was a good commemoration, if you could even call it that, but I, I really enjoyed this, and, I, you know, I'm very proud that I did it. And it's not just because I, I did a thing, it was for him. Now, I don't think he would care, even if I told him. But, you know, I mean, we have our own ways of dealing with certain losses, and, you know, I didn't care about him like others did, which sounds very insensitive, but it, I just, I, I never met him. I never met him in real life, I'm sorry. I. I don't have that reaction, unlike some people, which is perfectly fine. But this was just my way of doing my thing. So, you know, it was it was very it was very pleasant to just do for a year, just to see how it would be. You know, I I never well I did hate it at some points, but I never hated it as a whole. I completely understood why I did it, and I didn't regret doing it whatsoever. But yeah, I am very happy that I was able to do what I did. Not happy why, but it's it worked. And I hope that you out there can do something similar. Not for the same cause, you all need your own reason. Even if this is your reason, I, I hope you do succeed. Anyway, now that this has all been completed, I'm thankful you watched, and you know, I think we're gonna end with my ending. I hope you have a nice day, and goodbye.